Unlocking English Collocations, The Power of Context Clues Hello and welcome, language enthusiasts. In this video, we're going to explore a fascinating and incredibly useful aspect of English language learning, collocations. More importantly, we will dive into the art of identifying collocations in texts using context clues. Grab your notebooks and pens and get ready to decode the mysteries of collocations together. Collocations are words that often go together, forming a natural sounding pair or group. It's not about fixed phrases or idioms but rather word combinations that native speakers frequently use. Examples include, make a decision, take a shower, and do homework. Why are collocations important, you ask? Well, they enhance your English fluency, making your language use sound more natural and sophisticated. More importantly, understanding and using collocations correctly can greatly improve your comprehension and expression in both spoken and written English. The secret weapon in identifying collocations is context clues. These are hints found within a sentence or paragraph that a reader can use to infer or deduce the meaning of unfamiliar words, phrases, or, in our case, potential collocations. They can be definitions, examples, synonyms, antonyms, or the overall theme of the text. Let's get practical. When reading a text, try to spot pairs or groups of words that seem to fit naturally together. If you're unsure, use the surrounding words, sentences, or even paragraphs to help infer the relationship. Here's an example. Despite rigorous efforts, he failed to make any significant progress in his research. Here, you can infer that make and progress often go together due to the context they are used in. To master the art of identifying collocations, you need to practice regularly. Engage with diverse reading materials, such as books, newspapers, magazines, and websites. Highlight potential collocations and try to infer their meaning from the context. Later, Check their meaning and usage in a dictionary or online collocation database. And there you have it. You now have the keys to unlock the world of collocations in English. Remember, it's all about practice and context. So, keep reading, stay curious, and don't forget to use those handy context clues. Until next time, happy learning!